Hi uh, again, thanks for joining me. Um, the last one of these for 2022. Gosh, a historic moment. 3 John and verse uh, 10. Yesterday we were introduced to Diotrephes and uh, there's some clearly some criticism going on, some unwelcome attitude going on that John is highlighting in, uh, in that verse. But we get a lot more detail in today's verse, verse 10. So, John writes, when I come, I will call attention to what he, Diotrephes, is doing, spreading malicious nonsense about us. Not satisfied with that, he even refuses to welcome other believers. He also stops those who want to do so and puts them out of the church. Now, we've been thinking this week a little bit about welcome and hospitality and joining together working together for the truth. But Diotrephes now appears to be somebody who's really very hostile to, to other people coming close. Hostile to John and uh, offensive, perhaps spreading malicious nonsense about him. But hostile too to those, who are, uh, those believers who, who want to worship with him. Hostile even to those members of his own church who want to be more welcoming to other believers. Have you ever experienced, as so many have, that awful time of uh, going into visiting a new church or a different church and just reaching for a chair or a seat and somebody says, oh, I'm sorry, that seat's taken, you can't sit here. I heard about somebody the other day who three occasions in the same visit that happened. Through three times they were told, I'm sorry, you can't sit there. How welcoming is that? Even when our, our spouse or our, our friend, uh, somebody that we, we really want to be beside us is coming, then is it really necessary for us to stop a visitor from sitting in a particular place? Or isn't there a more friendly way that we can encourage them and bless them and greet them warmly? Uh, as a brother or a sister. Well, I leave you to ponder that, to reflect upon that uh, during the day, but I think we could be a lot more welcoming just in the very simple things that we do, the very simple responses that we give to so many people in so many ways. <clears throat> However, importantly, what John is getting at here, I think is rather more serious than that. Uh, if we are in disagreement with somebody, if we are uh, in disharmony with them, we, there is no room for us to spread malicious nonsense. We cannot do that. As Christians, we're called to love one another. As Christians, we're called to love our enemies. And I think we need to be particularly careful in this day and age when there is so much venom, so much hatred that is uh, spread around. We need to be particularly careful to be loving towards one another and not to be offensive not to seek to hurt or to damage or to run down the other. Have a think about that as we reflect together on God's word. But let me pray now. Father, thank you for the love that we can share. Forgive us for the times when we don't. Help us, we pray, to be more effective and to be more loving for your glory. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for your company. Thank you for reflecting with me and uh, I will see you next year. Take care.